I'm quite pessimistic about um, there being any significant uh, outcomes. I, uh, I, you know, I, I am uh, expecting that my research will continue, that climate change will uh, not go away, and really we're looking at uh, adapting uh, uh, to a, a kind of fairly business as usual uh, scenario. I'd love to be proved wrong, um, but I'm fairly pessimistic. Well, I'm not a politician, but the fundamental problem is extracting fossil carbon from the ground. So if there was a way to stop or minimize fossil carbon extraction, um, oil, natural gas, coal, and uh, that's what I would do. But I don't, I don't see a politically feasible way of doing that. Uh, I, I, I don't see a, a huge uh, outpouring of political will or, or upsurge in, in the, um, uh, the ability of the politicians to reach agreement. And will that ever change? I don't know. Maybe it will. <laughs> I'm not a politician. <laughs> um, I, I think it'll be less than we'd want. Um, I hope there'll be some progress. It sounds like there might be some progress towards it. Uh, there will be some pledges, hopefully. Um, I don't think it'll be enough to do the two degrees and, and then there'll have to be discussion afterwards about whether the two degree target is still meaningful, whether you do other things to try and supplement it. Um, I, think, uh, I think the whole process, the whole climate negotiation and even the science process is, is, has got huge inertia because there's so many people involved, it's been going on for decades. There is unlikely to be any massive change in the way things go. It will continue to plod on and probably too slowly really to solve the problem. But what it does is it, it keeps the issue in people's minds. And there will be some bright businessmen out there that are thinking, I've got an idea here, guys, I can make this work. Like we can do low carbon this and low carbon that, and so do energy this and so do energy that. So I think it helps in that respect. I no longer think that the international negotiation is the thing that will solve the problem, but it will help because it will, it will keep it in the media, it will keep it in people's minds. It will we'll see major people talking out about it, and that helps. Is that going to be enough to solve the problem, though? The idea, no, not on its own, not on its own. So the argument for it, for international agreement is that you kind of have a level playing field. So that if someone does the right thing, or the thing that uh, that the global community wants, then they will somehow get rewarded. And if they do the wrong thing, they'll somehow get penalised. And that's what it's really about. So quite often, businessmen who are interested in in doing low carbon uh, technologies say to governments please just give us a level playing field, which means please incentive us to do, us do this and, and not, not the wrong thing. And that, uh, that, that is partly local. I mean, um, but you see evidence already of technology um, advancing despite the lack of international agreement. You know, I mean, the solar cell thing is a, is, is a remarkable success story. Solar cells are much more efficient than we ever thought they'd get to be. Um, I was in, um, in Palo Alto, in Silicon Valley this last summer, and the number of electric cars is incredible. They're not on the road for carbon reasons, they're on the road because they're sexy technology, but who cares? I mean, basically it still works, as long as you're getting your energy from solar power or whatever, renewable sources. So there are, there are signs that um, technology is, is, is taking up the challenge a bit and business is taking up the challenge. It just, needs, it just needs for politics to catch up a bit and to say, well, hold on a minute, why don't we just have an agreement here that means these guys get more help? At the moment, you know, in the UK, for example, there's a tendency for the opposite to be happening. You know, we're drawing subsidies from renewables and going towards nuclear, which is, is low carbon only in the very long term. So, yeah, you'd like to see some, some encouragement for the natural tendency to innovate. You know, you just want to push it in the right direction, hopefully. I don't think we'll avoid two degrees, but we, um, we can also work on adaptation technologies that mean we might better ride out the worst parts of going beyond two degrees hopefully not too much more than two degrees. Um, I do, do worry sometimes that we are always looking to some political leader to tell us how it will be done. And yet at the same time, we also, on the whole, don't respect our political leaders like we used to. So there's a, ki there's a kind of um, inconsistency here between looking up for guidance and then saying, we don't believe a word you say. 